Namaste. Everyone is unique and according to everyone's nature and innate characteristics, there are infinite ways to reach self-realization. Until you reach self-realization, reincarnation, the cycle of birth and death continues. The mystery of the entire universe is locked within your own body and consciousness. Humans always yearn for constant expansion. They want to explore unlimited possibilities. When you go inward into self-discovery and find your infinite self, you are liberated. You are the Satchidanand, the true knowledge, the bliss, the infinite love, and that is your true nature. You can choose your path, you can question it, and you can reach your own conclusions. You can make up your own God or not have one at all. You allow this same freedom to the other to follow their own path for their own self-discovery. And this is the teaching of Sanatan Dharma, also called Hinduism. It is inclusive of everyone on this planet. So Sanatan means eternal. Dharma is often translated as religious duty, but it has a deeper meaning. The word comes from the Sanskrit root dhri, which means that which is integral to something or the true nature of something. For example, dharma of sugar is to be sweet, fire to be hot, water to be wet. So the dharma of humans is Satchidanand, the eternal universal consciousness. So you see, Hinduism is not a religion. It is the metaphysical basis of all true spirituality. There is only one universal consciousness, all pervasive, even though it's worshipped in many different ways, in many different forms, with many different names. There is ultimately only one Brahma. Brahma has no shape and no form, and yet it is every shape and every form. There is no one book or one prophet to follow, and there are multiple different philosophies. Path to Brahma is a challenging, risky, and unknown path. Therefore, the scriptures have emphasized how essential a guru, enlightened master, is to lead you back to your eternal truth. That is Sanatan Dharma. Namaste.